All right, here we go. Let me go stand down here in the corner of the property. So there's the property line there. Um, this neighborhood, definitely a rural situation. Your closest neighbors are pretty far. And then just across down the road a bit is that huge nature preserve. So, I mean, I hear a bunch of birds. This is de definitely a more out there style of house. It's great. I love it. Um, you're on the corner, so again, it has that extra large feel just because you get all the, the easement for the corner. Your property line's probably something like, probably standing at the edge, like right in here maybe. <clears throat> okay. Now, when I walked up and opened the door, there was a, a frog on the door, so we're definitely, we're definitely out there. It's wildlife. Looks like maybe even the agent just had all this cleaned up. This was all dirty and gross, and the frog was here. So my guess is this was all overgrown, and then they cut it out. Um, okay, so first thing we notice is there's shutters on the doors and the windows, the old waffle style. Um, these are legal. They'll get you your discount. They're a pain in the ass, you know, but you got to clean them up, make them nice. They'll work. They're just kind of annoying. All right. Get some lights on here. And I'll just do a pan from left to right. Um, I think this floor is real wood. It's kind of the older style skinny um, planks, but it looks to be in A minus condition. I mean, it's definitely aged, but good condition for its age. I don't see any splitting, and it's real wood. I think it's real wood, looks like real wood, feels like real wood. So let's just start all the way to the left here. Okay, here's one bedroom, big size bedroom here. 16 by 16 tiles. The quality workmanship is good. They're just old. I don't see any broken or dirty or anything. This room is probably 14 by 14 maybe. It's a good size guest. You can put a queen in it, no problem. It's got a closet here. Boom, regular closet. Um, textured ceilings. Oh, smoke alarm. Nothing too fancy going on here, but everything seems to be clean and well maintained. Into the second bedroom here. Same thing with these 16 inch tiles. This room's slightly smaller. Um, same thing with the closet though. It's a bit of a high spot in the floor, but I don't think any foundation problem. Nothing that's just foundation problem. Just a little high spot. Uh, all the wall texture looks good. Paint looks good. They're vinyl window, oh. uh, Aluminum windows. So that's the second bedroom. Odd placement for the lights, but whatever. The bathroom here. So a little corner unit that's fine. Fan works. These are 12 by 12 kind of cream tiles that are textured. Look to be in really good condition. This tub, um, it's just a, uh, just, a, um, just a slip. It's not even a three piece. It looks like this is all a single unit, which is kind of rare nowadays. But for what it is, good condition. Nothing fancy going on here. It's copper coming out of there, looks like. Let me touch it. Uh, or PEX. I can't tell. I'll have to look at the next one. Little hallway closet here for linens. Yeah, and that's the, the two, two bedroom with the bath on that side of the house. So again, you know, when you walk in the door, I'll put my back back to the door here. When you walk in the door all the way to the left, that's where those two were. Oh, I forgot to mention the high ceilings in here. Very nice. Whatever that is. Um, all right, so now we can walk through the living room here. Nice little fake, um, whatever those are called. 
while this kitchen nook is nice, I guess the thought for these windows was to put a little two-seater here and you could look out. Aluminum windows again. We'll go out to the backyard in a second. Cabinets to look to be in great condition. This is a, um, a composite. Um, really good condition. Really good condition. I actually think the pipes are PEX. I think so. Um, appliances, good condition. Closet, little food pantry here. Yeah, all food pantry. So, I mean, it's not a lot of kitchen cabinets. I mean, you could put some over the over there and, and then maybe put like a something here if you wanted, some kind of cabinet under a seat or something. Bunch of dead something there, bugs and stuff. So, I don't know what that's about. All right, let's go this way now before going outside. Now, this should be to the garage. Here's laundry. How do we turn this light on? Is it on this side? Weird. Yep, here's your laundry units. Out to the garage. Looks like there's an alarm system throughout the house. Uh, yeah, garage is what it is. It's like some dripping from their car there. Textured ceilings. I mean, this house is so new, it's square D. There's not going to be any problem with these panels or anything. Looks like a 200 amp service. So that all looks good. All this stuff, yeah, the house is so no new, there's not going to be much problem. Anyways, there's HVAC. This is just like a, a roll-out vinyl here in the laundry room. Let's keep going. All right, back to the same 16-inch tile from the other rooms. Oh, those light switches didn't do anything, so. There we go. Huge bed they got in here. Um, good size. Obviously, you could put a king in here. Good enough size. Good enough size. Here's the master bath. A million light switches. Super dated, but looks to be in good condition. Clean. I don't see any evidence of water damage, any serious evidence. Some, some dripping, but... Then over here, again, this is just going to be a, a single piece insert shower there. Looks like we need some recaulking and some painting. But, yeah, that's just a single piece. Nothing fancy there. So then this is going to be aluminum windows again. Tile looks to be in decent condition. Pretty wear and tear there. Interesting. And then here's a little cupboard, or sorry, closet, big closet, nice size closet. Textured ceilings, textured walls, paints in pretty good condition. It's obviously been repainted. There's some cut in, evidence of bad cut in here and there, but nothing you would notice unless you're looking for it. Let's go out to the back now. All right. So again, you got your waffle shutters everywhere. Um, the point of the waffle shutters, at least, is just so you can get your insurance discount. So that's good. These are very interesting 10 or 12 inch tiles here, green. Um, this is a uh, this is a feature of the house. This is an aluminum up here. This is framed in. So I think the roof should be contiguous. It should be um, shingle above us too. And then it just has aluminum inserts around the box here. The aluminum, I think it's in A minus condition. Pressure wash it off, except for this door. This door's a little rough. Pressure wash it off, and this is fine. Oh, this is locked. I'll have to go through the gate, I guess. I don't want to mess with that. Yeah. Pretty good sized backyard. And it's fenced in, so. Okay, let me walk around the sides a bit. That slider needs to be cleaned. Works fine, just needs to be cleaned. You can see all the dirt down there. All right. So let me click some lights. And I'll walk around the outside. Oh, 
There was a frog here. I hope I didn't let the frog in. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so this is all freshly cut down. I bet you the real estate agent told him, you got to cut all that out. looks like crap. Stucco work looks good. I mean, your soffits and your uh, fascias, dirty. But I think that's all just pressure washable. Maybe a little paint. Um, and you do, so the side yard does have a gate. I mean, the tree is right on. I don't know why they put the gate right by the tree. But you could drive back here, kind of. All right. Yeah, so I don't see any staircasing on the stucco. Roof looks to be in perfectly fine condition, even though they did it kind of funky. Sorry, I shouldn't say funky. It's done just fine. It's not my... Uh, how they do the valleys is not my favorite. But it looks to be in good condition, though. And again, property... You're on the corner, you got the yard. I mean, this is checking a lot of boxes, so. Okay, um, let me know what you think.